Hi, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be demonstrating how to knit this lovely stitch. Doesn't it look nice? It looks like it's machine made, but no, I have knitted this. And this is going to be a, a sweater for my son, which I have done the opening of the box. I can put the link there. It's 50% cotton and 50% bamboo and it, the yarn is just a dream to work with. Okay, and I will put the link where I did the demonstration on how to cast on this lovely stitch if you look close by. Looks like it's machine made. Nope, it, it's not. And this is the front. And uh, this is the back of the wrong side of the stitch. Okay. In uh, Turkish this is called fare dişi. I'm gonna call this the beaver tooth because <laughs> it looks like a tooth. Here's the yarn that I have purchased in Turkey from Ice Yarn. Sorry about that, I should have prepared that earlier. <laughs> And I did the opening of it, so it's 100 gram, and there's four in uh, one bag that it comes. I think I ordered a lot of this because I only use one and a half, one and a little bit more of to knit this uh, sleeve. If you look at it, and I'm measuring one of my son's sweater as I go, so that he has this sweater that it fits him perfectly. Okay. And I will be demonstrating how to knit the sweater as we go along. But first I want to demonstrate how to knit the stitch. I just wanted to have this a separate tutorial. So cast on as long as you want. Of the sleeves I cast on a total of 80 stitches. And I knit one knit one purl rib stitch. One knit one purl. About 18 rows. And I started the pattern right away. So we'll start on that and I did do increases and I will do when I'm doing the tutorial on the sweater. Uh, that's going to take a bit but I will put the link when I finish it or you can go into my videos and check my tutorial so it would be well today is uh, February 21st so it's going to be later when I put the tutorial. So let's get started. The yarn that you desire, just pick the yarn that you want if you want to go and order your yarn. They don't have enough yarn of, on this. I think they only have orange colors left. But this is uh, super soft. It's a dream to work with. It's bam baby bamboo it says. And um, it's 50% bamboo and 50% cotton. Trying to focus it for you, but it's not. I hope you can see it. Yeah, here it's, this is better. And the needle size that you need is a three millimeter needle, US three, I believe it says. If you want to go and order it, go and order it. They have different cotton, bamboo, and different prices. So go and check it out. But this is a lovely, lovely, lovely yarn that I. I just couldn't say any good words about it. So where you go to is you go to iceyarns.com. They don't have the link here, isn't that odd? <laughs> Let me just double check the bag. Baby bamboo kahi. It says four two two zero nine. I don't know if that would help. But they're sold out of this color. But if you go into my uh, opening box when I put the link, all the information is there. Yep, so let's get started on how to knit this stitch. The be uh, beaver tooth stitch. Okay, so um, I forgot to mention that I use smaller needles. These are two millimeter needles and I'm going to go jump to the three. 
it, it gives that tightness when you're doing the uh, the rib stitch one one pearl. So uh, to start this pattern, you start from the wrong side of the work. So I'm the wrong side. It's very easy. And it's a very fun stitch. So first stitch, I'm just gonna skip. Okay, and then you see a knit. So when you see a knit stitch, we usually go like this, right? We usually grab it and knit it. But for this pattern, we're going to go one stitch, one underneath. And then we're going to grab it, knit it from the back, and then let that go. It won't unravel, so nothing to worry about. And then purl. Go between, go between these two, and then knit it just regular knit, but not on the top. Just like this. And this is all to it. This creates that uh, bumpiness that gives that nice effect. One purl, one knit between. And continue knitting like this all the way to the end and I'll meet you at the end to make this lovely stitch just like this go just right in there and then when you turn your work you can see can see something's going different. Okay, so continue knitting all the way to the end and I'll meet you to start doing the right side of the stitch. Okay, so I have knit all the way to the end, just like I showed you. So this is the right side of the work. So this is the right. And then what we're going to do is we're just gonna knit. Well, I'm not knitting the first stitch, I always slip it. And I'm just going to knit all the way to the end, just a regular knit stitch, yarn on the back. Even the, the pearl ones that you see, you just knit them just like this. Just like that. Just a regular knit stitch, you don't do anything else, just a regular knit stitch, yarn on the back. So continue knitting like this. I told you it's very easy and simple, but the end result is fantastic. <laughs> and you can make anything with this dishcloth, cardigans, sweaters, baby cardigans, blankets, two sides. It looks nice. So continue knitting yarn on the back just like this, and I'll meet you at the wrong side of the work. See? It's becoming... Okay, so I have knit all the way to the end, and this is how it looks like so far. So when I'm doing the wrong side, I'm going to do the purl stitch yarn on the front. Just knit, knit it like that, yarn on the front. Just a regular purl stitch. So this is row three, just like this yarn on the front. Just like this. So continue knit all the way to the end, yarn on the front, and I will meet you on the right side of the work, and we will do the fourth row, the pattern, the stitch, the stitch, yeah, the stitch is done in four rows, and that's all to it. Just wanted to show you, so this is how I knit. Yarn on the front, and when you turn your work, this is how it looks like. The stitch is becoming. Okay, so continue knitting. You can make baby blanket, dish dish cloth, oh, with a thick uh, cotton yarn. It's like a dream. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Knit on the yarn on the front. Okay, so you can see the stitches uh, already done, the first stitch, even we're not starting the second. You can see that little, that pinch that you pinch, you know, your fabric and it becomes. I don't know what the stitch is called, there must be a name for it, but uh, 
I really like this stitch. I made so many things out of this stitch. And then the fourth, the fourth row is just a regular knit stitch yarn on the back. Just continue knitting just like this to create that this stitch. And then when we come to the wrong side, we're going to repeat what we did on the first row. So it's just a repeat of four rows. Just like this. So continue knitting, just a regular knit stitch on the on the yarn on the back. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm back at the wrong side. You can see that you have three rows of the purl stitch. So on the wrong side, that's wrong side. That's how we start the pattern, the stitch. I'm sorry, not the pattern, the stitch. So don't forget, even when you're doing increases, try to figure out where you did that uh, knit stitch on the bottom. So here it is. So here it is. So we're going to go underneath and do a knit stitch just like this. And then do a purl stitch. And do a knit stitch. So if you forget where you are, just go to the previous where you did the stitch. So there's a purl stitch and there's a knit stitch. So you will know that this is a purl stitch. So this is a trick that sometimes when I'm, because this is a sleeve, right? I'm going to increase in so many rows. And when I increase, I get kind of confused. But if you don't, don't get confused, just go to the previous rows that where you did the knit stitch. And then you can figure out how to create the stitch. How to, how to so this is the trick when you go one stitch below to knit the stitch, it gives that uh, pinch look on the front and it looks nice. It's very easy and it goes fast. And the yarn is a dream to work with. Oh my god, I bought this yarn so many months ago. Now I have the chance to knit it. Okay, and this is how it looks like. So this is all to it. This is all to it. So it, the, uh, the stitch is done in four rows and the, the, you start with the wrong side of the work to create the stitch. Purl, knit yarn on the, just below. Yarn on the back and then yarn on the front, just like this. It's very easy and you do the regular knit stitch on the front, uh, purl stitch on the wrong side of the work, and then when you go back you do the knit stitch on the, fr uh, on the front, and then on the fourth uh, row you do this stitch. You knit one knit one purl, but the knit is one below, and it gives you this nice look. So continue knitting. And then you will love the stitch, and it will be your dream uh, stitch in your <laughs> in your uh, library <laughs> that you will love to knit with. Yeah, it's really nice. I love it. This is one of the stitches that I love, and I just wanted to share it with you. So I hope this tutorial gave you an idea how to knit this stitch and I will be doing the um, knitting the sweater and I will give you more details on how to knit this lovely uh, stitch with this uh, sweater. So please stay tuned and watch my tutorials, share it with your family and friends. If you have not subscribed to it, please do subscribe. I see that I have over a 16,000 now. Uh, go, it go, it's going slowly but uh, hopefully yeah, I like it. I, I love when people comment. I love to read your comments and uh, get your feedback. I really appreciate it. Well, again, thank you very much for watching and happy knitting!